So this isn't going to be one of my normal videos, but I thought I'd show you something crazy that uh, happened today on the planet tank behind me. As you can see, the Monte Carlo carpet on about half of the tank has come unattached from the substrate. Now, I don't know if that's because there wasn't enough nutrients in the form of like root tabs or something in the soil and the roots didn't take as well. Um, I wouldn't think that would be the case because I, uh, I used ADA soil in there. Um, it could have been that I hadn't been trimming it and it just got to be so thick and it came unattached that way. But um, I don't know, let's take a closer look. So here's a look at the tank, 90 gallon tank. As you can see, the Monte Carlo carpeting on this whole half just kind of came up and, and floated up from the bottom. It's still attached to the rest of it. Um, and you can see there's carpeting that kind of basically takes over the entire tank. Um, you know, it's all intact. It just turned into this uh, massive slope, if you will. And I've never had this happen to me before. I've had, you know, chunks maybe come up, but never like a, a well-aged carpet that's well-attached and well kind of almost woven together, if you will, with the rest of the tank. I've never had that happen. Um, let's take a look underneath the... Uh, this is a little dirty here. Let me just, and this side of the tank super scratched up. Ooh, that just uh, messed things up. Sorry about that. But before it gets too clouded, you can take a look at the root structure underneath there. Maybe a better view than that. It's not gonna work. But you can see the root structure in there. It's crazily woven. And that mag float really stirred up the the uh, substrate and the kind of detritus and that type of stuff that gets underneath the carpet. Um, before I did that, there was tons of shrimp under here, so I was gonna have to figure out how I would get them out. I guess I think the plan is I'm just gonna with my hands get in there and put it back down. We put a couple of rocks on it. Uh, the shrimp should be able to make their way up through it or around it or something kind of go from there but i mean this is thick here's my hand look how thick that carpeting is i'd say it's a good in parts in in areas close to six inches thick but four easily i don't know kind of a crazy thing, so I thought I would put it on YouTube, let you guys see something weird that happened to me. Um, other than that though, this tank's been doing good. Um, maintenance, I've been a little lacking. You can see uh, some kind of algae um, spots on the glass. The AR Mini never really took off, and I'm not going to dose iron in this tank because I'm growing shrimp. So. That was probably a bad idea, um, but it is what it is. The Aerial Vietnam's doing real well. Uh, Fissidens Fontanus is growing great. There's a nice patch of it there. You can see past the algae. Another nice patch of it. So things are going well, other than I can't keep the carpet down. But uh, we'll, we'll work on that. Now you can see some of the shrimp have come back since things have settled down a little bit over here see that or not but they're in there I'm gonna go ahead and get working on it and uh, probably show you a shot of it after I get the carpet back down not quite sure how that'll work but I'm gonna give it a shot so yeah let me know what you think uh, has this ever happened to you before what could I do to prevent this in the future not that I've ever happened had it happen before and I've had tons of uh, carpeted tanks especially this tank right here I've had Oh, I don't even know, but uh, I've had real lush carpets in this tank over the years. So let me know what you think. You ever seen anything like this? Please comment below. Let me know what I could do different to prevent this. 
Let me know a good way to keep it so it'll kind of reattached. Let me know what you're thinking. If you're looking for any fish food, shrimp food, things like that, go to AquaticSupportSystems.com. Um, we've got a lot of cool things there. So stay tuned. Take care. Thanks for watching. All right, we're back. I, uh, I got the carpet back down. And I thought I would uh, kind of do a uh, addendum to this video or a uh, an addition at the end, if you will. But uh, what I did is I went ahead and took uh, some additional pieces of dragonstone, or uh, I guess you'd call it oiko stone, I think. Um, and uh, pushed the mat back down and just put them on top of the mat in order to hold it down. It wouldn't hold down. Um, without any weight on it, so went ahead and did that. Let's take a closer look. All right, so this is in no way in nice condition as it was prior to this happening, but at least I got the mat down. And uh, I added three pieces of uh, dragonstone that I had in there. It's still kind of coming up. Um, let me know if you're a planted tank expert and um, a carpeting expert. You can see some of the roots there. Um, if, um, if I should be trimming this in order to help it to stay down. You know, like I said, parts of it um, are like four inches high. Should I hack half of it off? I mean, over here it's not as high. But over here, it sure, sure, certainly was. Um, should I do some work like that, or should I just leave it as is and let the roots hopefully take root again? And then, um, or should I take a bunch of it out and just um, cut some clumps and uh, plant some clumps, move, and then move the rest of it, get rid of it, throw it away, sell it, do whatever, that type of thing. Um, I don't know. Anybody who's uh, more of an expert than I am on planet tanks, especially high-tech planet tanks, let me know what you think, and uh, we can try to do something. But yeah, that's kind of weird and uh, interesting all at the same time. Never had this happen before. You can see over here, I tried to stuff it down in the corner so the roots would take, but I wasn't able to get it down real well. Um, The other thing that's weird too is I hadn't seen scuds in this tank for I don't know how long I've had this planted, well over a year, because I've had these cardinal tetras in there and they keep them at bay, but I've noticed some scuds that had been living underneath the carpet, I guess. Like there's one right there, I don't know if you can see it. Um, so they're kind of out and about now that this disturbance has happened in there. So the, the cardinal tetras are just kind of like pay free food in here and there, all over the place. Um, and I also found a couple of planaria, which, you know, I never see. Um, so they were infested, um, you know, within the carpeting or, or under it, or that type of thing. And uh, so they were kind of let loose too. And so I've noticed the Cardinal Tetris chasing a couple of those around and whatever but um yeah i don't know what else to say about this other than uh you know i try to show you everything that happens good bad and whatever and uh, so i caught this today turned around at my desk where i work and noticed it <laughs> up and so i grabbed the camera and figured i would shoot uh, some footage of it for you guys uh, just so you can see that stuff does happen uh, to everybody in this hobby not everyone likes to show it on YouTube, but uh, I try to show everything I can, if, uh, if at all possible. Sometimes when accidents happen, you don't have time to grab the camera and start documenting it. You just got to take action. But in this case, there was no need to, to not uh, get it on camera if I had the time and resources, which I did. So that's what I did. Anyway, I'd like to hear what you guys think below as far as um, how I can get this to best reattach, what the best route going forward would be um, as far as uh, you know salvaging this and uh, getting getting it going again all right like I said before thanks for watching uh, and if you're looking for 
fish food, shrimp food, that type of thing, check out my website, AquaticSupportSystems.com. Thank you for everybody that watches these videos, and until the next one, take care.